Major funding for the Magic School Bus is provided by the National Science Foundation, supporting education and research in science, mathematics, and technology. Additional funding is provided by Carnegie Corporation of New York. And the annual financial support of viewers like you. Seatbelts, everyone! Please let this be a normal field trip with a friend. No way! Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Next thing that you know, you see it. Octopus in my neighborhood, surfing on the sound wave, swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a nap that you're intestine, take your second life that Mars on the magic school bus. Half a game of nostril, I'm on the magic school bus. Make a plane, turn to two. I'm on the magic school bus. Rock the river of love, I'm on the magic school bus. Such a fine thing to do. So strap your bones back to the seat Come on in and don't be shy Come on. Just to make your day complete You might get back into a pile On the magic school bus Step inside, it's a wild ride Come on, ride on the magic school bus D.A., you don't want the egg to crack under the pressure. But our principal asked me to take care of his one and only pet chicken. And what did I do? I lost it! As you can see, Giblets is a very fine breed of chicken. A Rhode Island Red. He was a gold medalist in the Drumstick Olympics and this year's Grand Marshal in the Poultry Parade. But while I'm away, I expect you to take excellent care of him. You can do that, can't you? Yes, sir. We can, sir. I promise, sir. Good. I knew I could count on you, Dorothy Ann. Now be a good boy, Jibby. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Rule. And don't worry. <laughs> so long. Bye. Good time. DA, are you crazy? What were you thinking? Can we really... Cockadoodle, do this? Of course we can. Giblets is sweet. Come on, Jibs, let's be friends. <laughs> or as we say in the barnyard, where there's a hen, there's a rooster. Miss Frizzle! Somebody likes my hat. Please, get him down. Easy. Don't scare him. Oh, my. Jim, get him. It not be giblets, but it's better than nothing. It may be nothing if it never hatches. Come on, little egg. Grow into a chick. Now. Chill out, D.A. We've got plenty of time. Yeah, Mr. Rule's not due back until tomorrow. Attention, Miss Frizzle's class. <gasps> Mr. Rule! Please report to the principal's office immediately. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? There's really only one thing we can do. Tell the truth. And then, Miss Frizzle showed up in a hat covered with feathers. Giblets thought the Frizz was a chicken. When Liz tried to get him, he flew away. Whoa, whoa hold it. One at a time, please. Now, uh, Giblets thought Miss Frizzle was a chicken? Of course. Good yolk, Dorothy Ann. It's the truth, Mr. Rule. But... We're getting you a new bird. It's just not here yet. Okay, I'll play along with your little game. <laughs>
So Giblets flew the coupe, and you're replacing him? Where, may I ask, are you getting this other chicken? We're hatching one from an egg. Oh, of course you are. Oh, why didn't I think of that? So, where did you get a Rhode Island red egg? Well, Miss Frizzle took us to the one farm in all of Walkerville that has Rhode Island red chickens. <laughs> Proceed. And, um, well, the farmer said that if we could find an egg, we could take it, just as long as we didn't let the chickens out. What's the matter, Ralphie? Are you chicken? Actually, class, they're all chickens. The males are roosters and the females are hens. This way, class! The last one in is a rotten egg! Someone your own size. Phew, now I know what it's like to be hen pecked. Eggs, Sept. Look who is doing all the pecking. Yeah, we were being rooster pecked. Hey, guys! This pen only has hens in it. Maybe we can get our egg from in here. It looks a lot safer. We have a plan. Bullseye! Whoops, I said plan, Liz, not pan. Is the egg ruined? Mm, depends on how you like them. Still looks good enough to eat. Miss Frizzle, that egg was going to be Mr. Rule's new chick. Was it? Anyone see any signs of a chick in here? Nope, I just see breakfast. Mmm. A big yummy yellow yolk. And that clear goopy stuff that turns white when you cook it. Excellent observation, Tim. Nothing but food in this one. Maybe there wasn't a chicken that egg, but it was our only chance. Don't worry, T.A. We'll find another egg, and one with a chick in it. Won't we, Miss Frizzle? Oh, I do love to be egged on. Oh, boss, do your stuff. <laughs> This straight, Dorothy Ann. You're telling me you went inside a chicken to find me an egg? Yes, sir, we did. But going inside a chicken is not a state-approved field trip. Well, it should be, because we found out all about eggs and how they get made. Really? Tell me about it. We started right about here, in the ovary. At my old school, we always stayed outside the chickens. Well, at Walker Elementary, we go in for extrasensory experiences! Yeah, but but what part of the hen are we in? <laughs> Is it just me? Or are these big, squishy, yellow balls egg yolks? If they are, maybe hens make the yolk before they make the rest of the egg. Then this must be the place where eggs get their start! You got it, Wanda! Welcome to the ovary, the place in the chicken where the eggs start ticking. So, let's grab one from Mr. Rule, take it home, and hatch it! Don't pick this one! It's got a big white spot on it! The yolk's on us, guys! They've all got big white spots! Is that bad? Not at all. Under the right circumstances, that white spot is the most important part of the egg. But where's the rest of the egg? You know, the clear goopy stuff in the shell? How do they get made? An exciting question, Tim. Where are we going? Wherever yolks go when they exit the ovary. Why do we all 
always end up in long, dark, slippery tubes. Oh, just lucky, I guess, Arnold. This particular tube is called the oviduct. Oh, look! Here comes the yolk. Ah, oh, yes, an egg yolk. Up close and personal. Hey, Tim, look! Here comes your clear, goopy stuff. Ew! What are these stringy things? I don't know, but they're holding the yolk in the middle of all this goopy stuff. You mean you actually saw the walls of the Oviduct secrete albumin and generate strings of calaisy? Well, we saw the yolk get covered up with layers of goop and get twisted up with stringy stuff. Does that count? Good enough. Then what happened? Then a bag formed around the yolk, the goop, and us. The bag filled with watery stuff and swelled up into the shape of an egg. Why, that's exactly what happens when an egg is formed. What about the shell? Did you see it? Did you actually see it? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you didn't see it. Oh, but we did see it. Solid stuff grew all around us in bits and pieces until it covered everything in a hard shell. Excellent, class. I officially declare this grade A extra large egg fully developed. Um, does anybody see a chick in here? Not even the start of one. The only thing I see is a big yolk inside an eggshell. Don't be so sure, Dorothy Ann. Remember that white spot on the yolk? It's called an ovum, and it's half of what it takes to start a chick. Only half? You mean this egg will never hatch into Mr. Rule's chick either? Nope. This egg will stay an egg, and it's got egg salad sandwich written all over it. That means we need to find another egg now! But how do we get out of here? Just leave that to the chicken. <laughs> hey, I think we're moving. Do you really expect me to believe that the chicken laid an egg with all of you inside it? You bet it did, Mr. Rule. And we'd still be in there if it weren't for Liz. As you can see, Liz, we're on the horns of a dilemma. Or rather, that's where we'd like to be. So take chances, take aim, and get messy! Hey Liz, you've got egg on your face. And us. Hold your tongue, Liz. Now what are we going to do? We still need an egg with a chicken in it. The egg we were in came from the pen with no roosters. Maybe we'll have better luck in this one. What's the difference? The difference is, these hens have roosters in their pen. <gasps> That's it! The other half! Hens plus roosters! Roosters are male, hens are female. So just like with any animal, you need a mother and a father to create a new life. A hen and a rooster. The egg needs something from each parent. And the ovum is the hen's part in starting a new life. So the hen makes an egg with her part in it. And the rooster has to add his part before it can grow into a chick. Exactly. Hens lay eggs every day, but only eggs with both parts grow into chicks. So all we need is one of these. With a chick chick here and a chick chick there, here a chick, there a chick, everywhere a chick chick. DA, are you sure a chick is growing inside that egg? Well, if a hen and a rooster... But what if no rooster came along in time? What if it's only got the hen's half inside? You're right! Stop the bus! Miss <laughs> Frizzle, I have to go inside this egg! Okie dokie, Yoki. 
Do you really want to go in there? It's the only way to know for sure, Arnold. Think what Mr. Rule's going to say if we don't show up with the chick. Yeah, well, I'd rather go inside an egg than face Mr. Rule. Why, Arnold, how nice of you to offer. know for sure. Well, I think I've had enough of this game. I want my old chicken or my new one right now. No? No problem, Mr. Rule. We're on to it. How long can it take for a chick to grow anyway? A few hours? With all your knowledge about eggs, I'm surprised you don't know this, Ralphie. But it takes a few weeks for a chick to grow. Three, to be exact. That's 21 days. 21 days? We're dead! La la la, la la la, comfy Arnold. Miss Frizzle, we're in trouble, big trouble. Mr. Rule wants his chick right now. But it's just gotten started. It's not ready yet. Isn't there something we can do to make it grow faster, Miss Frizzle? Your every peep is my command, Dorothy Ann. chick is called an embryo, Arnold. Want to come out now? After all we've been through? No way! Hi there, embryo. I'm your egg sitter. Hey, its heart is beating. And blood is flowing to the yolk. And back again. To us, a yolk is a yolk. To an embryo, it's a yolk. Food. Wow! Food to grow on! Mr. Rule wants to know what's going on with this egg. He says if Arnold's inside, he should be able to tell you exactly what's happening. Actually, I don't think Mr. Rule really believes Arnold's inside the egg. Well, you'll just have to prove that he is by telling Mr. Rule everything Arnold says about how the chick is growing. Me? But... But if I'm in Mr. Rule's office, how will I know what Arnold's saying? As my great Aunt Bertie used to say, a little information can go a long way. What's Arnold saying now? He, uh, uh, he says he can see its eye and, um... And what? Arnold's singing. rock a -bye, baby inside this egg. Arnold, quit singing and tell us what's going on. Look how you've grown. You've got wings and got legs. Okay, Phoebe, listen up. The embryo's grown wings, and legs, and... and feet. And except for having a huge head, Arnold says it's starting to look like a bird. Hmm, that sounds like the chick's about day ten in its growth. What's going on now, Arnold? It's getting kind of weird. Getting weird? Yeah, I never babysat for anyone who grew bigger than me before. Hey! Arnold, what's happening? It moved! The chick pushed me down the big end of the egg, near something that looks like an air pocket. And more than half of the yolk is used up. That would be, let's see, day 15. That chick is growing fast. What about down? Um, Mr. Rule, I think it's growing up, not down. No, down, as in feathers. Does it have feathers yet? Just don't get any bigger! 
the chick has gotten so big in the shell that Arnold's running out of room. And I'm running out of patience. I want to see what's going on for myself before I crack. Now let's go. How much longer is it going to take? It's done! Wow! The chick broke into the air pocket! It's breathing! <gasps> Did you hear that? My chick said, beep, beep! We're gonna get out of here! Come on! You can do it! Oh, don't rush it, class. Hatching is ooh, hard work. It usually takes 12 hours. But that's when you don't have a magic bus around. Ooh! You've almost got it! Push! Oh, I'm here! <gasps> it's beautiful! Keep trying! You'll get it! <laughs> To Miss Frizzle's class. Hello? Anybody remember me? Phew! Egg sitting is exhausting. All right, where is he? Say hello to your new pet, Mr. Rule. You mean that crazy story was really... <laughs> Giblets! Giblets! I guess he who flies the coop can always fly back again. <laughs> Thought you could fool old Rule, eh? Well, no chance of that. I knew you were hatching eggs in your class the whole time. And this was your way of showing off what you'd learned. Uh, right! Absolutely! How'd you guess? Imagine that. They said you were gone. And they went inside an egg to find me a new chicken. <laughs> But it wasn't just any egg. No, sir, because only eggs made by roosters and hens can grow chicks in them. So we kept it warm and let it grow for 21 days. And look what came out of it. Your new pet chicken, Dorothy Ann, and Arnold's. We can keep it? Certainly, class. Let's name it Egghead. Yokohantis! Will anyone consider... Arnold Jr.? As I always say, you can count your chickens before they hatch, as long as you know what kind of egg they've been in. <laughs> Is this the magic school bus? Is this the magic school bus? 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 Magic School Bus, producer speaking. I have some questions about the egg show. You're not too chicken to ask them, are you? Please, we've all had enough egg and chicken jokes for one day. Well, excuse me. <laughs> Knock it off, okay? Here's my question. In real life, how long does it take a hen to make an egg? One day. And in order to be fertilized, an egg needs something from the hen and a rooster. That's how it was on your show about salmon. The salmon eggs needed something from each parent before they could grow into fish, right? Right. And eggs you buy in the store have not been fertilized. They're laid by hens that are kept away from the roosters. Ever heard about candling eggs? Of course I have. It's a way of finding out if an egg is fertilized or not. Now, the process used to be done with candles, but today you can use a flashlight, as long as it's a really strong one. I know. If you hold an eating egg up to the light, 
you won't see anything but a yolk inside. But in a week old fertilized egg, you can see the chick embryo already starting to grow inside the egg. Neat, huh? Neat? It's extraordinary. Talk about bad egg jokes, huh? You hungry, Liz? Hmm, how about an omelet? Poached eggs on toast? Eggs Benedict. How about a squashed fly sandwich? <laughs> I knew I'd find something you'd like. So what do you say, Liz? You want that fly on egg bread? Or how about some eggnog to wash it down? Or how about some... So strap your bones right to the seat. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete. You might get baked into a pie on the magic scuba. Uh. Step inside, it's a wild ride. Come on, ride on the magic scuba. Major funding for the magic school bus is provided by. The National Science Foundation, supporting education and research in science, mathematics, and technology. Additional funding is provided by Carnegie Corporation of New York. And the annual financial support of viewers like you. Visit your local library and read more about science in the Magic School Bus and other science books. My friend wants to be an astronaut when he grows up. Me? I'm going to be the first shuttle ship. Hey, our space team shouldn't have to eat macaroni and cheese out of a tube. So I'll cook all kinds of cool foods, dehydrate them, and load them into the menu missile. Add a little fuel to the popcorn engines, and dinner's headed for orbit. Up at the shuttle, all they have to do is add a little water, and presto, spacewalk smorgasbord. Thanks to me, Sean West, shuttle chef.